Okay. Yeah. Low. You really wanna know? Last night, I saw something incredible. Something incredible. Yeah, but let's not talk about that now. Let's talk about pizza. <laughs> let's talk about the good old days, like when we used to eat pizza. You don't eat pizza anymore? No, now I eat pizza bagels so I can eat, so I can probably eat more pizza but feel less guilty about it. What a sad life you live in. No, my life is pretty great. It just feels sad. No, it is. Maybe because uh, you uh, cannot... Uh, 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 maybe you? because the only pizza you eat is pizza bagels. Uh, which, yes, wait, are great. I, you know, pour you but it's of not the water. same of re as regular pizza. That's stupid. Why hasn't he realized, though? That I absolutely despise talking about the good old days, especially with him. Alright, now, you're going to tell me what you really saw last night. Oh, you're upset, aren't you? No, not Let's really, talk. but... Huh? That was a bit too easy. Anyway, it was awesome. I've never seen anything like it. It was around 10 and it started thunder on the rig or a rig. I was sleeping, I'm not sure for how long. Uh, okay. And suddenly, eh, the world went white. It was scary. I thought he was dying. Oh, he thought he was slept, but he had been slept by his old girlfriend, Na Naomi. Oh, okay. <laughs> and sure. then. Dusky Bridge caught on fire? Are you saying you saw it with your own eyes? No! I saw it with a dog! That dog saw it and told me. Of course I saw it with my own eyes! What kind of question is that? That's sort of, some sort of weirdo that used someone else's eyes. It's weird! Yeah, I was told not to do that a while ago. <clears throat> What? That was something Gumshoe said in, like, the original series. I don't know which episode. Hey, you're so mad about me, and I'm telling the truth. Hmm. <laughs> There's still three Psycho Locks remaining. That means... He's still trying to hide something. By the way, Larry, where were you when you saw that happen? What? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? Just answer the question. I was in my own room by the main hall. Where else would I be? As usual, you're as transparent as an empty jelly jar. No, but not as transparent as right. The problem, I suspect, lies there. There? What do you mean? There? <clears throat> it's impossible. 
for you to have seen the lightning strike Dusky Bridge from your room. This is a map of the area. Give me 50 cents. No! Fine. Take a look around the vicinity of Hezekura Temple. What am I looking for? A view of the bridge, you moron! Why would I do that? I think that should be fairly obvious. The main hall is surrounded by trees and it's impossible to see the bridge from here. Why? Why didn't you tell me before? Because it would still be a contradiction. Why does it matter? Well, how about it? What about what? Do you feel like talking now? About what? Pizza? It looks like I won't it won't be that easy after all. You leave me no other choice. Off to move on to the next step. You went in your room at the temple, so then where were you? You don't know that. I wasn't in my room. Yes, I do. I literally just proved that. So where was Larry and why was he there? Okay. Very well then. Let's test my theory. So the lightning strike from was naturally Heavenly Hall. I would be hanging out in this old chair. It's old and cold and and um um no electricity. And you can fall for it any minute. Larry, how do you know that anyway? How do you know? There's no electricity. After all, it's not that dark yet. What? <laughs> Hold on. Nice. Now tell me, what were you doing at this cold little shack last night? That's what you might call fair I, I, I think you mean a fair de quare. 
Could it be you were waiting for someone? No. You're scary. Yes, I've heard. I believe that last night you were waiting for this person to come and meet you. <clears throat> There's only one person you'd wait for in a horrible place like this, Larry. Yes, yes, Laurie's, whatever. The person you were waiting for. Wait, wait, I just went away. He called him Larry, like, like, at least ten times. And now he brings it up. (laughs) The person you were waiting for was Iris. Yeah, I don't know. All of a sudden, he cares. All of a sudden, I feel cold. No doubt, because of my chilly glare. Yes, I have evidence, whatever. I have evidence. I'm not just guessing. This is where I draw the line and end this ridiculous little game. Here's the evidence you were waiting for. That, uh, here's the evidence that you were waiting for Iris, and it's the note. Here's your evidence. You called her to this spot with a pathetic blackmail letter. <clears throat> hey, give it back. You're embarrassing me. But th- that's not important. I misjudged you, Larry. What do you mean? T- taking advantage of a woman's f- f- frailty like that, y- you should be ashamed of yourself. First of all, what is this at the top of the letter? It says, Salutation here! Well, that's what it said in the letter writing for dummies. You're not supposed to actually write that! That's where you, you're supposed to write, Dear Iris, you idiot! Salutation here. <laughs> Iris okay. is reading it like. I think you want her to be like extremely like fancy in a sense that like no one understands you. I guess <laughs> that could work. Salutation here. Iris is reading it like this. This th- th- this letter is so scary, but this person seems so stupid. But at the same so point, they like, are intimidating, and I'm getting mixed really, feelings. Like, salutation here. I want money because you did something, and money um, is needed to make sure that everything is okay. Give money or um, not okay. You know, that salutation you here part should have been a dead giveaway that it was Larry. <laughs> yeah. So you were here in Heavenly Hall last night, were you not, Larry? And you saw the lightning hit Dusky Bridge, didn't you? Don't sorry, Edgeworth me. Sorry doesn't cut it, you scumbag. Threatening a little young lady like that? Wait, hold on. What now, pal? I'll tell you what, you tried to scare Iris by threatening to expose her secret, pal. What do you mean threaten? Where should I threaten? Unless you want your secret to be exposed. That sounds like a threat to me, pal. Blackmail, in fact. Yes, but I never would write that on the... What do you think I'm going to do? Write something saying, uh, salutation here, Maggie. Wait, what did you say? Uh, salutation here. 
<laughs> I'm going to expose your secret. You said name! I never said anything. Who's Maggie? That was the guy in the back. Wait, I need to... Okay. What did you just say? And Larry, I'm talking to you. No, I don't care about you. I know what you're going to say. But then, what is the secret you mentioned? Uh, you get it? No, I don't. <laughs> yes, sure, okay. That's really, no, maybe then you should be a little more clear about it. You are. <sighs> you are the I, embodiment I, of I, stupid. I no, why? Obviously, when it went, the sister to find out. <laughs> uh -uh. Oh. So then it so was blackmail. In a sense that. Wait, whoa, wait, 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 whoa. Larry, Larry. You told her come to Heavenly Hall or I'll expose your secret. M meaning that. Uh, so it was a threat. Alright, then why did you send a love letter in a business-like manila envelope? Ray, I hold it. Do you have any other envelopes? And why were you so quick to apologize, pal? You gave me a scary love. That's it? That's all those huge locks were about? I, what, what, what locks? I don't understand why you were so defensive. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what locks? Are you going insane? You're going mm. insane, aren't you? You shouldn't expect too much from me. I... Don't. <sighs> but, but Mr. Edgeworth, this guy's still hiding something. I know it. What do you mean, detective? Don't forget what this guy said just a minute ago. I mean, I really don't know last night. I saw something incredible. Hmm, he's right. Larry. What? What was this something incredible you saw last night? You're going to tell me, Larry. One way or another. I'll go with the other. No, I no, you know, you know uh, what's going uh, to happen. Morse in Morse or code? Did or you just say in Morse finish. code? Or some other form of language besides English. I'll, you know, I'll use this stick. Look, it's a stick. See, I'm telling you, using a stick. I'm a little bit out of practice, but let's try this. Uh, Larry, you are... You oh, are on Wait. Let's see. Let me just make sure I've got this right. I th 
think I do, but... I'm sorry, I lack the confidence to try this. I'm trying to get... Okay. Larry, you are an... I believe that was right. I'm not sure. I'm out of practice. I used to, uh, I used to know Morse code more. Uh, how, how to spell in Morse code more fluently, but I'm out of practice. So I'm going to have to double check that. Nugget. Where did you get chicken you nugget from? I'm hungry. That wasn't nearly long enough to say chicken nugget. How are you supposed to know that? <clears throat> yes, and I believe it was the incredible sight you saw. But now that I think about it, something doesn't quite ring true. Why? If that's all there is to your story, your heart, uh, 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 your heart wouldn't have all those locks. Yes, Larry. I don't know why Edgeworth keeps overpronouncing his L's. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you saw something last night. Something more incredible than lightning. What? Why? Where? Why? Hey, what do you think you're doing? If you hide anything from Mr. Edgeworth, I'll arrest you on the spot, pal. Wait, what spot? That spot over there, or that spot over here? No! What's wrong, no. sir? Does this mean I have to do it all over again? Wait. Yeah. I've just about had it with this Harley Quinn. If I really want to drag the truth out of him, I'll just have to drag him to the witness stand. Okay. Oh wow, we actually made really good time. Uh, well, we're going to end it here. Thanks for watching, Pharaoh. Yeah.